Hello everyone, welcome to a short review of Feast of Not People Adventure. Well, not everybody, I mean no cannibals invited. So now that the 99.999% of you are greeted, let's dive into this cadaver of an episode. Don't be grossed out, it's only a metaphorical cadaver, not a literal one. Taking a cue from the Bob's Burgers pilot, where Bob is suspected of serving human meat to his customers because his daughter Louise spreads spurious lies at school, Feast of Not People Adventure teeters on the edge of jokes about cannibalism. Again, don't worry, no people were eaten in this episode, at least not in the present day. So the town has this bizarre festival where they celebrate not eating people. It comes from a fantastical lore where the original settlers from Europe were trying to get to Florida, but somehow they ended up in Alaska. Take it with a grain of salt, because it's completely ludicrous. Anyways, the original settlers struggled in the elements, arriving in the middle of winter, and resorted to eating the dead to survive. How's that for a wild Alaskan tale? While the festival occurs, a local cake lady bakes a special cake to commemorate the annual occasion. But the cake lady is currently in jail for illegal activities. However, a new cake lady has taken up the position, delivering cakes in the middle of the night like a tooth fairy, if you will. Beef Tobin notes that the new cake lady has different means of communication, using email instead of his preferred, and definitively vastly superior, means of nailing orders to a specific tree. Tobin's wonder out loud how this new cake lady will perform this year, as the old cake lady had set high standards. While this is going on at the breakfast table, Ham, the second oldest child, laughs nervously and leaves the room. Then we find out that Ham is actually taken over as the new cake lady for the town, filling the position because he saw a need and filled it. Much like how Beef Tobin took up the town garbage collection for a brief period in the 1990s, which could be a story that I would like to see one day. Also, the show makes a big deal about how Ham and Judy are Alaskan twins, meaning that they were born nine months apart. Yes, I know, it seems like this show is going to make a running gag out of using Alaska as an adjective. So when the reveal is made, Judy feels jilted that Ham did not confide in her, as they do pretty much everything together. But she does get over it, and ends up helping her brother when he becomes nervous under the pressure, and almost folds in the towel, or hangs up his whisk if you will. So she helps him find inspiration for his festival cake, and it ends up being a cadaver cake. I mean really, what do you expect a teenager to come up with? When the theme of the festival is based around not eating dead bodies, picking up people posing as cadavers, and guessing how many teeth are in a jar. I mean, really. But it's just a cake, so despite the initial shock, Ham's defense of his artistic creation moves the townsfolk into a celebratory consumption. Though I am surprised with all the cake talk that they didn't make an erotic cake joke. But they did make a roleplay joke. Have the writers ever gone to Comic Con? I mean, really, they'll make you think it was one big sexy time. Alongside the cake plot is a side plot of Wolf trying to fill the shoes of his uncle, who teamed up with Beef to form a winning duel for many years at a sporting event at the festival. It converges nicely with the A plot. Overall, it's a good show. Even though the direction of the festival is a very odd choice, it worked out okay. The one critique I do have for the show is the animation. It's just really flat and not expressive in terms of the characters. The only ones where I feel like it works for is Judy and Moon, and I only include Moon because he's designed to be like Tina in Bob's Burgers. Relatively expressiveless. It makes it hard to feel invested in the characters with the rigidness of the drawings, and I feel that it will hurt the show in the long run, considering that the show is an emotionally based sitcom about a family trying to stick together in the remote wilderness. A little bit of stretchiness would do wonders in the long run. Maybe giving Beef a few wrinkles to show the stress he's endured over the years trying to keep the family together. But for right now, the stories are good, and I did enjoy this episode. However, in the long run, I'm not sure how long this show will go on if it just does the Bob's Burgers tropes, while not branching off enough in new creative and exciting ways. Anyways, what do you think? Let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode, and what your take on the series so far is below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, and to subscribe to the channel for more animation commentary if you haven't done so already. And as always, this is Jack signing out. Have a wonderful day everyone!